little higher, a little higher. Keep going. Good. Stop. Right there. That's good. Give me a sec. I'm raising the bar. Hi, James Wedmore here, and in this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips for making your videos even better. Videos that engage your audience and compel them to stay to the end and leave them on the edge of their seats begging for more. That's right, more of you. So here's my suggestion. Listen to all 10 tips and choose just three that you can implement right after watching this video. You ready? Bar raising tip number one. Get right to the point. Now, it's not that YouTube viewers have ADD or anything, but they do get a little impatient when watching your videos. So if you're creating video that shares content that people are actually searching for, don't bury it six minutes into the video. Get to the point fast. Give that gold right up front. Bar raising tip number two, script it out. Most people can't wing it and still make a great video. So why are you trying? Take the 30 minutes to sit down and write a script so your video is short and succinct, not long and rambly. Bar raising tip number three, storytelling. Now the best way to teach is through a story, whether it's one of yours or one of your customers. And if you want to engage your audience and keep them on the edge of their seats, start it out with a little O-U-T, once upon a time. Bar raising tip number four, better content. If I'm searching for a topic like how to build muscle, or how to train a dog, or sell my house, or wear Lady Gaga makeup, don't sell me short. It's time to level up on your content. Share freely, give the people what they want, and demonstrate it in a way that they actually get it. Use visuals, statistics, and real life examples to make your content better than your competitors. Bar raising tip number five, add some B-roll. Okay, so while you're sitting here watching me talk, it might get a little boring. I totally get that. So every few seconds, I try and do something to spruce it up with a shot change, a sound effect, some music, or even some B-roll. So B-roll is any secondary footage that you can add to your video to complement whatever it is you're talking about. And for this example, I couldn't really think of any ideas, so I just thought this would be cool. Bar raising tip number six, add some music. Some people don't use music at all. Others will make videos with the wrong music. But I'll tell you right now, choosing that right, perfect song can make or break your entire video. Sites like audiojungle.net, premiumbeat.com, and even YouTube's own audio library will help you with tons of royalty-free music that you can use in your next set of videos. Bar raising tip number seven, Blurry backgrounds. Not blurry, blurry. Not blurry, blurry. If you're looking to take your videos to the next level, it's time to get your blur on. Okay, this is actually called depth of field, and to get the real effect, you're gonna to need to upgrade to a DSLR camera with the right type of lens. It makes for a bit more work, but check out how cool it looks. Bar raising tip number eight, light it up. Now lighting 101 is to just crank up your scene with whatever light you have, just so we can see your face. But once you've done that, you can begin to play with your lighting to create a more dynamic and professional shot. Using highlights on your face or darkening your background a bit, you can drastically increase the look and the mood of your videos. And there's more than enough lighting tutorials on YouTube if you wanna venture down this path to learn more. Bar raising tip number nine, get a pro. If you have the desire and the budget to make even better videos, well, perhaps it's time that you hire a professional videographer. And you can easily find a talented freelancer on a site like Craigslist for $20 to $40 an hour. They'll know exactly what to do to make your videos look incredible, so you can focus on being the superstar on camera. Bar raising tip number 10, emulate others. One of the best things that I ever did, especially when I got started on YouTube, was I started to search for other YouTube channels that I could be inspired by. I watched as many of their videos and dissected what it was that they were doing right. I looked at their shooting and editing style, 
their creative writing ideas and other cool tricks that they were doing in all their videos. Can you do the same? Find a few channels that you can emulate and see how you can incorporate what they're doing in your next video. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm always trying to raise the bar for what I put out there into the world. Shouldn't you be doing the same? Shouldn't you always strive for better and bigger results? If not, why would... Forget it. Just use your iPhone. Cut. Hey, James Wedmore here, and in this video... <laughs> so I'm not gonna be looking at the camera in this one either. Bar raising tip number six. Wait, I think I said five twice. Can you just... So wait, was this one four? No, this is six. Okay, so we have to rewind real quick. Hold on. Hey, give me a sec. This is actually number six. Some video marketers don't use music. Some video marketers don't use... Can you rewind it? Remember, that was six. Pretty much. There's one more line. And look at the camera for the first time. So I was like, oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So I shouldn't be looking at the camera before that. Please be kind. Rewind right there. Thanks, bro. Thank you.